How y'all doing? Um, happy Tuesday, my world. Happy whenever you'll see this in your world. Listen, the enemy, the enemy is trying to get me with these germs and this congestion and my eyes and all the things, but don't worry about it, okay? We got this, huh? If you know me, thank you so much for coming back to see your girl. I appreciate you for showing back up for me one more time. <laughs> if you do not recognize this, this face right here, I'm sorry. My name is Latrice. Nice to meet you. Um, thank you so much for coming to see me. I appreciate you. And this right here is Faith by Latrice, where faith is the muscle we exercise around here. Now, let's get on into it. No dilly dallying. Mira. So, there was a um, sermon that Pastor Sarah Jakes Roberts, I think I talked about this like two, three videos ago, right? It's called Catch and Keep. I'll put it in the what's the name below. Now, I still haven't gotten through it because the way this anointing is with this woman and on her ministry and how I'm connected to her ministry, and I'd be having to watch her sermons in pieces, huh? Can't watch it all the way through at work because I'd be a, a ball, a bag of tears. A ball in a bag of tears, huh? So anyway, I say all that to say these notes today are coming from that sermon. Let me get y'all the scripture right fast because the word. Ephesians 6, 10 to 12, right? This is Paul talking to the church of Ephesia. I think that's what they, Ephesus. Look at me inventing stuff. Ephesus, the church of Ephesus. He says, mm. finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, huh? That you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places, okay? Let's get up in here. Let me just tell you a couple things she said. She was like, um, to God, I thank you that you're giving me confidence for this next level. Hmm. We thank God that he's giving us confidence for this next level. Okay, hold on to that. Put that in your pocket real quick. And then she's talking about how Paul, speaking to the church of Ephesus, is teaching them how to keep what they caught. How do we keep what we caught? We put on the full armor of God. Because guess what? Ooh, Jesus. The mentality of where you are is at war with who you're becoming. The mentality of where you are is at war with where you're, where, where you're, who you're becoming. Excuse me. There's so many things. We be talking about this, but repetition, that's how we going to get it, okay? We don't just listen to something and just let it go. We internalize it. There's so many distractions. I'm going to speak from personal experience. There's so many distractions coming right now to us. Anybody who wants to do something good for themselves. There's always something that has to happen, right? It's just like if it's not one thing, it's the next type thing, right? So it's like there's so many distractions. The closer you get to the thing that God has for you, the more and the more difficult it's going to be to hang on to that thing, right? But how do we do that? How do we stay in the game? How do we hang on to the word? How do we catch the word and keep the word? Jesus, we got to put on the full armor of God. Now. I'm going to put what that is in the description below, but it's a spiritual, it's in a spiritual, in the spiritual realm. Things that you have to remember. Mm. Let's move on to the next thing real quick. She said the environment that will not change. Okay. So you're in an environment, you're in an environment that will not change, right? But that will not keep you from being transformed. Now I said, first of all, man, not man, one man. Excuse me. First of all, one man, woman, Pastor Sarah to dry. Get out of my business. Because literally just the other day, I was like, I really just want to go. Like, I was talking to a friend of mine who I've known for, like, forever, right? And I was telling him, like, I just want to kind of go, just, like, move away to somewhere remote and kind of just be by myself for just a minute so I can focus. But that's not how life works. Because life be life, and life is not going to stop because you need a minute to focus. Life is not about to stop doing what it's doing because you just need a moment to gather your thoughts. To be in some quiet, to be away from kids, away from family, away from job, away from whatever. Life is not going to stop. So guess what, God's like, I'm going to show you how to still be transformed even in the middle of the mess. Even in the middle of the environment that seems like chaos. I'm going to convert you in your spirit to be everything that I called it to be, even when the people around you are not converted. What? He said, if you catch what I'm giving you, I'm going to make sure you can keep it. Even if you cannot move, if you cannot leave where you are, if you cannot just jump up and move, if you can't just buy a plane ticket, if you can't get on a bus, if you can't drive nowhere, if you cannot leave your home, but you want to leave the chaos, put on the full armor of God. God's like, I'm going to help you. I'm going to get you there. I know it seems like all hell is breaking loose. I know it seems like you just whew, need a minute. And nobody will give it to you because life be lifing. But guess what? I'm going to teach you how to keep it. 
I'm going to teach you how to transform when it seems like you have an audience that is glaring at you, waiting on you to make the next move. Counting on you to make the next move, huh? All right, that's it. Put on the full armor of God. Now, I'm going to put the scripture below. And here's the thing I want y'all to remember. Last thing, last thing. Where it says, for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers, the present darkness, against the spiritual forces in the, in the heavenly places, right? Boom. We're not fighting people. That's why I was just like, look, I don't just want to just physically get away from people because I love family. I love, I love humans, matter of fact. <laughs> I don't want to just get away from humans, right? But there's a spiritual thing that's on me right now that makes me want to just leave. But that's not that's not the answer. Because if I go, if I jump up and get on another plane and go and go somewhere to another place, guess what? Them spiritual things are still gonna be on me. That's like, hi, you thought you could run from this, but guess what? I got a secret weapon that's not so secret. God is helping us do this, and He's helping me and He's helping you. So forgive me for yelling at you <laughs> as you watch this right now, but know that you have somebody on your side who has all power in his hands. Ooh. You got this. That's it. See, now that I've your oil, if nobody has told you today, mm, I love you and I love me. We got this. Because life be lifing. But guess what? We are going to prosper regardless. Bye.